and I love, love the love the attitude on this one. Is <laughs> is your job actually hard? Surely everyone wants to work at your company, um, or like surely everyone wants to work at a video games company. Mm. Um, yeah, is your job actually hard? Yes, it is hard because even when you work at a big brand company, yes, you get a lot of applications coming in, which is great, and you lean on that brand a lot. And yes, of course, make hires from people who apply directly. But also, when you're swimming in that high quality bar or like that small talent pool with you're trying to hire the best, um, the best people aren't looking for jobs and the best people aren't um, coming to you directly. You need to go find them and uh, convince them to to switch up and, and come to you. And that's a, a never ending task. And that's why all of these big or small games companies have recruiting teams and hire people like us because it's a non-stop um, effort to constantly bring in um, the best people. Um, so that's that's my really high level take on that question. But yeah, Matt, what do you think? Is your job actually hard or is it pretty easy? It's easy, mate. No, it's uh, <laughs> we're dealing with people. And I think that's also the part that probably you and I also both love about the job, but it, it is certainly not without its challenges. Um, particularly, as you say, you want to keep that quality bar really, really high. Um, and then equally, like, you know, with the layoffs and things that have happened, like sometimes the, just the direct applicants are, the bar is extremely high, right? So you might have like three or four candidates in process. You could hire all of them probably, and they'd probably come in and do a great job. But then it's the recruiter's job to, you know, not only advise the the hiring manager on like, well, actually, you know, we said we were kind of looking for this skill. Maybe they have a little bit more of this, whatever. It's also the job to deliver the news that to a really great candidate, you're not, we're not going to be making you an offer. We're not, you're not, we're not going to give you this role. And it's about, ideally maintaining the relationship with that really great candidate so that any future roles that come up you know we would genuinely in a hundred percent consider them for yeah and 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 we we've just been focusing on like the rather transactional part of our role as mm -hmm. in like you've been given a job description you go find the person interview them hire them um but also when it comes to working directly at a games company there's so many other things that we consult on and um, mm -hmm. to do with talent like is this the type of hire we want, like from skills or leveling perspective or even location? Um, I also think that games, all games companies, regardless of size, like make decisions incredibly quickly. Mm. Like, okay, actually the game is now this. And so therefore we need these type of people now um, to hire. Like, and they come to the recruiting team like, oh, we could have really have done with these people maybe like two months ago. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, cool. yeah. <laughs> so then suddenly it's like, okay, We've got to hire these exceptionally talented people with all of these specific skills as fast as possible. And yeah, naturally, um, talented people aren't like, oh, just able to drop what they're doing at a moment's notice. Timing is, is such a big factor when it comes to to hiring um, as well. So uh, yeah, it is a, a you know, it is nonstop. But yeah, obviously, obviously, it's great. The the bet the most satisfying part of the job for me is when you build a team watch them ship something mm. like a game and watch them ship a game and then seeing the world um light up and mm. and enjoy it and it's like uh yeah when you're like oh i know all of the people in that team in fact yeah. i helped hire some of them and especially when you hire people who are like this is my dream job and that naturally happens a lot um and if, especially if you're the person who proactively reached out to them mm. caught to them through an interview process and gave them the contract. It's like, yeah, I've changed that person's life. And that that's, feels great.